I found a boggart, what would it turn into? I think the boggart would turn into me running, but not getting anywhere. This is a fear of mine, I think. Or running in general, I hate running. <laughs> What's up, you curious people? I'm Margarita, an anthropologist and cognitive biologist who loves to bring science closer to you by just discussing a lot of scientific things around humans. So if you are interested in that, stick around by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to this channel. Today's video is going to be slightly different because I'm not going into science as much. I wanted to do something on phobias, but while researching, I found these rather funny no phobia is funny i do not want to offend anyone a phobia is a serious disorder which you should get help on right away phobias you can have can you think of a situation or object that evokes an irrational excessive and persistent kind of fear i for example have this not irrational in my opinion fear of jellyfish i hate them if i see one i will immediately leave the sea and not re-enter the water for at least a day Okay, to be true, I think they have conditioned me to do so. They have stung me repeatedly as a kid and you don't even see them coming and their marks and... Ugh! This might not qualify as a phobia because I do not overreact. Do you hear that? That's my parents screaming with laughter because they totally believe I'm overreacting. <laughs> But I really do not get panic attacks or faint or dramatic stuff like that. And this dramatic stuff is nothing somebody is doing because he likes the attention for being a drama queen. It's the body's irrational physiological overreaction to the situation. And it's, it's a type of anxiety disorder, which is a serious mental state in which you fear an upcoming event. Now that I hope I made clear that phobias are nothing to laugh about, I will tell you about 20 phobias that I think are hilarious. 1. Arachibutyrophobia The fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth. There are people who panic with the thought of peanut butter sticking on the roof of the... Okay, I get that it's not the nicest feeling in the world, but panic because of it? Optophobia The fear of opening one's eyes. What? How can you have such a phobia? How can you blink then? And do you prefer to have your eyes shut or not close them ever? Aurophobia The fear of finding gold. Yeah, right. I'm sure this one's made up. Even if you're just not that into gold, why would you care about it so much to be afraid of it? This makes no sense at all. Well, that's the point of phobias, isn't it, Margarita? It has to be irrational to be classified as a phobia. Omphalophobia. The fear of belly buttons. On the other side, there are people who will expose their belly button on any occasion. Dextrophobia, the fear of having objects to your right. Yeah, right. Ah! <laughs> this seems to be a part of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, and they are also known all to be flat earthers living at the far edge of the earth so they can actually achieve zen. Levophobia is the exact same thing but for objects being on the left side of the body. Xanthophobia, the fear of the color or the word yellow. In Greek, the word xantho is also used for blonde, so maybe you're not only afraid of school buses and beautiful raincoats but of blonde people too chetophobia the fear of hair um yes you can be afraid of hair i mean okay hair can be disgusting if in the drain or when you take the clothes out of the washing machine to hang it or to put it in the dryer and then there is this small spider-like bundle of hair every time this is disgusting but being afraid of hair in general i would have a lot of shaving to do a day octophobia the fear of the number eight. Uh-huh, you can be afraid of a number. I have a favorite number, the seven, and I used to be the eight and the six in volleyball back in the day, but being afraid of a number? Never heard of that before. You can be afraid of objects, for example, in groups of eight or of a symbol itself. There's this theory that says that this fear is based on superstition because of the inescapable character of the symbol, because it does not begin or end at an obvious point. That can happen to me because I draw two cycles. <laughs> Ablutophobia, the fear of washing or bathing. That's just plain disgusting. 
not washing allium phobia fear of garlic oh my god have you heard edward has it anukta phobia fear of staying single oh come on you can't be serious but okay maybe someone oppressed from their social background who's constantly being told that their only worth would be to find a partner avlophobia the fear of flutes what flutes Flutes. Number 13, Bolshevophobia, fear of Bolsheviks. That's just being racist. There are more like that, like Francophobia when you're afraid of French people or Anglophobia when you're afraid of English people, Germanophobia with Germans, just plain racism. Don't mask it as a disorder, but well, it is a disorder, but... Number 14, Phatophobia, the fear of gravity. I need to disappoint you, but if you are living on Earth or any other planet, you are probably gonna have some issues. Number 15, Bibliophobia, fear of books. Oh no, I can't believe this. Books are the only thing that will relax me whenever I see or smell or read one. I'm so sorry for people who have that phobia. Cytophobia, fear of food. That could never happen to me. Like, food? For real? Food? Even chocolate? What? Number 17, linophobia, fear of string. <laughs> I actually found a test online where you can test how severe your linophobia is with questions like how much stress do you feel when thinking about string? Exacostio exacosa exaphobia, <laughs> fear of the number 666. Devilish. <laughs> number 19, pantophobia, fear of everything. Yeah, apparently you can be afraid of everything at once <laughs> last but not least helenologophobia fear of greek terms or complex scientific terminology you shouldn't have watched this video if you have that. now as discussed before phobias are nothing fun for the people experiencing them having a panic attack every time you encounter something specific is horrible or even the expectation of encountering something specific but instead of avoiding what you fear, which might worsen the symptoms and justifying it like I do with jellyfish, you should seek help, not from the jellyfish themselves. Do keep avoiding them, they actually sting. Now tell me, what would the bugger turn into if you faced it? Is this question too personal? See you in the comment section below and the next week for more. Ciao!